Hi, everybody. This is Sherry Leopold with another episode of Outside the Box with Sherry. I am honored today to have Arthur Hung, transformational energy coach with us today, and an incredibly fine young man, if I do say so myself. Thank you for being my guest, Arthur. Thank you so much, Sherry. Uh, I, I'm so happy to have you here. Now, we, we actually met through uh, Shiraz, who has also been a guest on the show, um, who is the founder of Energetic Magic. And we have had a great time getting to know one another. And I'm excited to be able to share you with my network. So tell us a little bit about how you became that transformational energy coach. Wonderful. So my story started probably like, if I would really to go back the layers, when I was really young, around like six years old, and I saw from my family that there's so much dysfunction. And I knew that if, if I'm so fortunate and yet I'm feeling this, what about everybody else? And my journey like had like a lot of ups and downs through working with different uh, business partners who, who we did coaching with. And having, I spent tens of thousands of dollars on coaching for myself as well to improve myself. Even now I have my own coaches. And because I'm always growing and I, I really want to impart that if you want to grow, don't reinvent the wheel, find yourself a coach, whether it's me or Sherry or um, someone, if you want to work out, find, find, like go to a gym with a private trainer or, you know, just find a way for yourself to, to grow. Because if, if you have a coach, that's really good. It could, it could save you years of effort, literally. So you may say, you may seem look at me like I'm a young man, but because of all the coaching I've had and taking the action speed speed of implementation, I feel like I'm like the energy of like an 18 year old, but the wisdom is is like different, like 80 years old or something like that. Right, and you've studied with some amazing people as well, I know, and and working with Shiraz, but I know you've men mentioned to me before, you've had quite a, quite a few mentors, and I agree with you. I think that that's one of the things, and I've always heard, never hire a coach that doesn't have a coach, because every one of us needs guidance for growth and through our maturity and things like that. And I 100% agree with you. Never hire a coach that doesn't have a coach and always coach with somebody who um, allows you to be you, right? And that you're comfortable with and that brings out the best in you. Um, and I know that you, you and I talked and you are uh, embarking on a new journey with a coach to improve your skills. And, and I, I do as well. I'm in a coaching program. We are always learning and growing and, um, and developing ourselves, right? So tell me a little bit about um, why that's important for you as a coach to consistently be in education for yourself. How does that help your clients? Because you can't do for someone else, like a client, for example, what you aren't going through yourself. I can't tell a client, just for example, a client, one of my clients uh, is learning how to approach women. So I just tell them, like, go speak, go warm up, speak to like, a cashier or an old lady or whatever, get yourself warmed up, and then go to the next person. And then, I, I, and then but I, I've been doing that all my life. Basically, whether with women or not, I, I talk to everyone. If I see them on the street, well, now with the COVID restrictions, I just say, hello, have a good day with pretty much everyone I walk down the street. Naturally, it, like you're spending positive vibes, you raise your energy, you raise the energy of those around you. It's win for everybody. And then when you go into business call, that whole day, you've been spreading positive vibes. Like I've been spreading positive vibes all day, every day, today. And now that I'm on this call with you, it comes out because... All that love comes back to me and now I have so much energy. Absolutely. And that's kind of how I felt today too. I had a, a mishap, but for the most part, the entire day has just been full of energy and awesomeness. And, you know, so I can, I can totally see that too with you. And, and I think it's very important, especially even when you're selecting your own coach or you're looking for a coach, 
that's something that's really important is what does the coach bring to the relationship? Because it isn't just a one-sided thing. It's somebody that you have to sort of meet in the middle with and, and mesh well with. Um, otherwise, you don't get the best experience. And it's actually hard from the coach perspective. If you aren't aligned that way, it's hard for the coach to help that person as well. It's why everyone is not for you or for me. And it has to be a mutual fit for everybody to have that good experience. Now, I know with the transformational energy coach, what is it one of the things that's really important for you to do when you're working with a client in that transformational energy? What is it that you're actually helping them to attain or to help them accomplish? Literally raise their energy by remove first there's two parts of it. One is removing the layers that make them stuck. And I have different process, processes of doing that through energetic magic that I learned with Shiraz. Um, through my own processes of just knowing, like, for example, specific things, such as, for example, like a mantra would be like, I can handle this. And you just keep saying this and you just build that muscle. I can handle this. And then you take action. And that actually dissolves that stuck energy that stops someone from being energetic. People who procrastinate, why do they procrastinate? Is they're scared. There, there's something deep down. And, and with coaching with me, I'm not just energetic coach, energy coach. I also help people express their uniqueness. And I, I help people spontaneously talk and help them explore those sides of themselves that they haven't done yet. Uh, if they, that's something that I offer because when you really own yourself, you own your weirdness, your quirks, your uniqueness, and the energy just comes up. You're being yourself. And that's the greatest gift you can give anyone. As long as like, just think about it. You, Gary Vee talks about this. If you're someone who's fake and you have bad intentions, people will know. But if you come with, when your stuff is cleared up and like in this conversation, it's just pure love. I can feel it from you. And I think I'm offering that myself too. It's just, the intention is just, I'm here to grow, to serve you and to offer love. And, and like that, those three things just keep helping you go higher and higher and higher. And there's a million ways to in, improve your energy, to increase your energy. But fundamentally, it's that and also gratitude. We've talked about this in our private call, I believe it was a few weeks ago. And you, you have many wonderful experiences with gratitude. I remember you were talking about how you know someone who uh, owns like a shoe shining business. Mm -hmm. And those shoe shiners get thousands of dollars in tips because they put their whole heart into it. Absolutely. And I believe that like something I do with my clients is I make them write a list depending on how fast they write, like 10 things they're grateful for or 50 things they're grateful for. And then like a process through that where they can really, when, when you actually like notice what you're grateful for, you will realize that there's so many miracles. Even today, I could probably count like 200 miracles that happened today. If I really like sat down and wrote them down, there's so many, like just all these things happening for you. Because if you have a good intention and you're putting your heart in there, and very easily, life will give you gifts. There's bread comes everywhere. That source, God, Buddha, Allah, anything that Jesus, whatever you want to call it, is giving you. And all those things can give you energy. And when you know, and you can be aware of that. And you acknowledge it. And you're acknowledging the highest. And you're acknowledging the highest within you. Because as some people say, existence doesn't make mistakes. So if you can see the beauty in a Sherry Leopold and you can see the beauty in a flower and you can see the beauty in a child's smile and you can see the beauty in yourself because right. we're all together. We're all intertwined. So that's a part, a bit of a teaser of what I offer as an energy. And I, you know, I love that you, you know, you speak my language when you talk about the uniqueness and, you know, embracing your weird or whatever it is, whatever makes you different is actually the thing that makes you awesome. Um, and I know a lot of people try to hide from those things or they try to cover up the things that make them unique. 
And it's actually the thing that should help you to learn to love yourself more for being that standout with whatever that is, your hair, the way you talk, the way you say things, your humor, whatever it is, right? Um, and that goes along hand in hand because if you're grateful for your uniqueness, there's not a lot of room for anything but good things because like, <laughs> you know, I always say that gratitude and if you wanna say being down in the dumps, they cannot coincide at the same time in the same space. The energy field just doesn't allow it right? And the more that you elevate yourself in that gratitude and love the weirdness about you and all those things, the higher level you vibrate at and the better people come to you. That's just the thing. Your network improves the more you love yourself, right? Absolutely, sure. <laughs> Which is why it's so important to work with people like you who help people get out of that dumpy area that attracts people that don't serve you or don't um, create a great life for you because they don't come to your life being great. I do want to uh, make like a mention here that if you right now you're watching this, so shaking my phone, if you're watching this right now and you're not at that place of pure gratitude and understand your own uniqueness, don't worry. Life is changing all the time. Unless you rehash those memories of like complaining all my life sucks because my parents, all my life sucks because of my job I hate or whatever. You have, first of all, like, it doesn't matter where you're at. You accept where you're at and you make the absolute best out of it. You turn a blessing out of everything you consider a curse. And then when you, when, when that opportunity arises, you can't go 50% at a job you don't like or with a family that you're not appreciating. And when that perfect girl comes or when that, um, that miracle job that you've been waiting all your life comes, you won't be able to give 100% to that or 100% gratefulness and happiness to that girl unless you've been practicing giving your all, practicing 100% gratitude or 90 or 80 or 60, even 10, 1%, I don't care what percent, you just start. You accelerate what you have, you do the best with what you can and you give your all. Maybe your all is 1% of Sherry's all or... 50% of what Arthur's all is. It doesn't really matter because we're all where we're at. And, right. and honestly, there's people out there that only you can serve in this particular way. And as um, one of my mentors, Preston Smiles, he says, I think he says something like, there's like a certain number of people, maybe like 100,000, 80,000 or something like that in the world. There's only like 100,000 coaches right now. So if you want to like learn and grow. It might take you one year, five years, however long. But when you get to a certain level of competency and it's, it's your duty to do that actually because there's people out there that are suffering really badly, almost like dying, I, I would almost say. And there's medicine in your heart that can serve them. So it's kind of like your duty in a sense to... I don't mean like to should. I don't mean I don't mean it like that. I mean like a natural calling that everybody has and everybody has a potential for that I really respect in everybody. And I, I'm beginning to really see it in every interaction I have, whether it's a happy or irate family member, um, uh, a client with whatever problem or, or success. I see, I know that I can love on whatever's the blind spot. And that's all a coach really does. All a coach really does is give you and helps you figure out what you want. And then awarenesses come up that he is able to pinpoint and love on the places that are dark or you assume are dark. Turn them into blessings and then your life just runs smoother. And then you can just grow kind of on your own. Like ideally within like, four, five, six, I don't know how, how long you really need, like six sessions with me over two months, at one and a half month package or something like that. And you actually don't need me anymore because we, we don't want, like, I don't want people to depend on me. I want to have people that are ready and committed and resourceful and take action because only when you do those things, you can, you can grow. It doesn't matter how good the coach is. You have, you are 100% responsible for
for your own success. That's even the and I, and I love to you about what you're saying there about each person is really responsible personally for their own transformation, right? And and I kind of always like put an equal sign with energy and light when you were saying shining the light on the dark places because energy is light. And when you light those dark places up, the energy blooms, right? And, and I also love, Arthur, that you said, you know, you're not necessarily saying, hey, you have to coach with me for the rest of your life or whatever. It might be six months or six weeks or whatever, because it's for you to get to that transformational spot to where you are in the driver's seat of your own life again, right? It, it's that I, I need this um, short-term you know, guidance, if you will, so I can get on track and so I can keep going in the direction that I want. Um, that it's not necessarily have to be a long-term year where, you know, we'll never not have a coaching relationship, right? Um, and, and I think that there is for a lot of people, they just need that little piece in between, right? To get from here to there. And then they're like, whew, that was good. And, you know, maybe they'll come back and coach again if they get stuck or they find themselves in a position where they need help again. But I think I like that about you, that it's not, you know, that it's not necessarily have to be a huge long journey. It might just be a situational thing that you, that you coach somebody through. And, and everybody's, <clears throat> even everybody's got continuous problems and awarenesses. So if the coach really works for you, myself or other people, and you're, you seem to grow a lot faster with them it might be worth the continued investment. Mm -hmm. If you're doubling your rate of growth every month, that's like exponential value, right? So I kind of want to mention- Especially that. probably if you're working in business because your paycheck is probably <laughs> doubling and tripling. Um, at least I would hope if you're truly uh, tapping into that internal energy and manifesting what you're capable of doing, it should be growing at that exponential growth if that's what you're working on. I know not everybody comes to you with the same thing, but I think elementally everybody comes uh, probably to you looking for that place in that gratitude to get to, get to the light, if you will. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I can't remember who was it that taught me this, but basically a coach is kind of like an obstacle that you have to go through to get to what you want. And I love that metaphor because you want to, you, everybody, everybody wants to grow, even if they don't know. They want to go, everybody wants to expand. Only people that don't grow is they don't believe in themselves. So a coach just basically says, you can, I know you can, you can definitely do it. Take your action, it might I'm not, we don't, the, the, the when and the where is not up to you, but you plant, plant the seed, you water this, the soil, you give it sunlight, you just keep whatever direction that you truly want, you commit it, it will happen. So that's, that's it, coaching in a nutshell. I love that. So if somebody is interested in coaching with you, Arthur, how would they get in contact with you? You can send me an email at arthurhunk38 at gmail.com. And I'll also put my Facebook uh, link uh, underneath the, the screen of what we have here. Okay, and super. Yeah, pretty simple. That's awesome. And I think, uh, and do you do, you do uh, a free discovery call as well, oh, right? Absolutely. You're good 45, a 45 minute discovery, free discovery call to okay. see if we're fit to work together. Because awesome. I only really work with committed people that are on the verge of a breakthrough or wanting a breakthrough. And I don't hold people's hands. <laughs> we just clap them together when they make those transformational moves. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love your energy, Arthur. Thank you so much for being with us today on Outside the Box with Sherry. And I hope that you'll take him up on his offer of his 45-minute uh, consultation. He's a great young man and a bright light in this world. And I appreciate you. And 
on as outside the box with Sherry, as you know, we always shine a light on those who are making a difference in the world. And Arthur Hung is one of those people. So thank you again, Arthur, for being my guest today. Thank you so much, Sherry. Yep. And if you if you would like to be a guest on Outside the Box with Sherry, I hope that you will send me a message at Sherry at SherryLeopold.com. So maybe you can be the next guest on Outside the Box with Sherry. Have a great time and we'll see you on the next episode of Outside the Box with Sherry.